On February 22, 2020, a group of capital students and faculty traveled to Berlin, Germany. Is it followed? <laughs> While the trip was well planned, many had no idea exactly what they were walking into. A few hours later, we landed in the Berlin airport. After a couple of bus and train rides later, we found ourselves settled in our stay for the night. And then, the walking started. <laughs> our first day included a walk around some monuments and museums in Berlin, all in the pouring rain. Our second day started with a trip to Adam Audio, a leader and pioneer in professional monitoring gear. There, we saw behind the scenes of their production, manufacturing, and all the science a speaker nerd could ever ask for. Day three comprised of a trip to Hamburg, where we were greeted by students and faculty at the Technological University. Here, new wide ranges of audio, from virtual reality to analog synthesis, were all on display. We later took a trip on the town, met with good food and great company. I do feel a lot like a tourist though. Day four, Rainer Olik, a widely known German composer, engineer, and producer, gave us a tour of his studio, which was once an abandoned barn. No wonder this guy was featured in Avid's magazine. The next day was a long train ride to Dresden, a historic city filled with beautiful architecture and history. In the city also lies a concert hall aiming at acoustic perfection that I'm not really sure I was allowed to take video in.
Day 6 was a peek at Neumann, one of the world's top microphone companies for quality, where we saw a pure anechoic chamber. Unfortunately, I wasn't even supposed to be taking video. I took a train north on our last free day in the city. What followed was a look at beautiful scenery in a year's abandoned Olympic Stadium. I was so exhausted that I only took two videos on our way home. Charles summarizes the entire trip perfectly here. <laughs>